having a wonderful today is what Wednesday morning today's Wednesday morning uh, welcome back to the channel uh, if you are new to the my channel my YouTube live or welcome to the community and my name is Hoon uh, my channel is pretty much about making better coffee at home and then so I've been using past couple years using Brista Express and I just added uh, Rancholia Cervia uh, recently so see this is actually my second one uh, anyway, so I have some fun videos for you this morning. This morning, I'm going to ch uh, compare filter baskets. So I just got this last night, okay? So this is an 18 gram basket. So whatever you guys buy, uh, Rancholia, Servia, or kind of like European espresso machine, that comes with 14 gram baskets. So, I mean, for us, you are living in US, the standard size is between 18 and 20. So, I mean, if you guys want that, definitely uh, replace with 18 gram baskets. Uh, comes to baskets, we have a lot of options. Uh, so this one is from uh, Rancholio, okay? And they, just a regular stock 18 gram basket. And also you can go with like VST baskets or IMS basket as with those precision baskets. So you got some couple options. Uh, this one you can pick up from Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks. So it's very inexpensive. So anyway, so that's what we're gonna do this point. I'm gonna compare. 14 gram versus 18. So let's find out which one is better. Okay. Or is there any difference? So let's do that. And then this morning I'm going to be using, you know, I haven't tried. I did try, but uh, it's been a while. So I got Good Brothers Coffee here, Smatra. This is one of my favorite. Uh, so this one uh, roasted in December 3rd. So it's about what, four weeks old, almost four weeks old. So uh, I have to drink it. So anyway. I'm going to shout out to Good Brothers Coffee for sending me this. By the way, I have a 25% coupon for code, okay, on down below as well. So, all right, so let's dial in, okay? So what I'm going to do is, meantime, I'm going to change the angle here. Here we go. That's it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to switch out the filter basket. So, again, comes with a 14 gram basket. Just going to... Sometimes it can be a little tricky, so I'm just going to, okay, here we go. I'm just going to lock it in. I'm just, I'm just going to just warm up the basket for now. Okay, so I got brand new beans. So whenever you're dialing in brand new beans, uh, fact is I have no clue. And you just, so since I'm going to be using my niche grinder, and I usually go around the middle of the road, okay? So between the, with the niche grinder, they have a different settings there. I got the between, you know what, let me show you, okay? The showing is a lot easier than talking about it. Okay. So here's the niche grinder. If you are new to the niche, so everything has a label, okay? The, even though it's a step less grinder, they give you a different marking. So I usually start with kind of like middle of the road, okay? Between 10 and 20, I like to just set around maybe like 15 or 16 there. Start with that first. And then, and then go from there. And sometimes if you got lucky, you got right on it at first time, but sometimes you have to a little struggle. So, so since we are doing live, you get to see my struggle as well, okay. So I'm just going to unzip this. So I'm going to do this uh, first one. I'm going to start with 14 gram on this. Okay, this canister here. So I've been really enjoying this canister from Amazon, this tin can. And that, so, I, so I don't have to just, you know, struggle every morning. I just kind of like pre-measure night before. So I got 14.8 gram here. Next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the 18 gram. Since I'm doing the zero, so niche grinder has a zero uh, retention pretty much. So I'm not too worried about that. So I'm just gonna go exactly 18 gram on this one as well. Okay. So this canister, you can hold about like 22 grams. So 
So I'm at exactly at 18. Okay. So let's start with, you know what? Let's start with the 14 grand baskets. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that with 14 grand baskets. It'd be interesting to see. Okay. So start with the 14. Make sure, you know what, shake it, okay? I mean, if you have a neat niche grinder at home, I know you guys have a different method, but I like to just shake it. Just make sure all the beans are out. Okay, smells really good. All right, so I'm just gonna flush one more time. It's been warmed up for about 45 minutes. It's gonna be nice and hot. So let's pull the shot here. But I know that the 18 gram versus 14 gram, that's a big difference there. So <clears throat> let's find out. I'm a little anxious to see. Just polish it. I do need to upgrade my tempo though because this is a little loose. Because this is 58 milligram, uh, milli, uh, millimeter, so you want to be really precise. You see that spacing between. So, some point I'm going to be upgraded to like 58.5 uh, millimeter, perhaps. Okay. So right now, the light is on, which means water is still boiling right now. So I'm going to wait about uh, another maybe 10 seconds or so once the light goes up. Okay. All righty. Mark, getting your notification. Okay. So, uh, someone say, you guys not getting my notification? Oh, my goodness. Jamin, Julie. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, think about that. So, it comes to notification for my channel. I think you have to ring the bell button. Once you subscribe, ring the bell button. But, I don't know, lately the YouTube is a little finicky. So, yeah. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to flush out the hot water from the group head here. You see the, the hot water coming out? So I don't want that shot. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to lock it in. And then I'm going to start time uh, when I push the button. Okay. So. Just make sure everything is nice and clean. Here we go. Let's get you the better viewing angle there okay so this is 14 gram basket i'm going to start with okay guys too fast way too fast okay beautiful crema though isn't it but yeah way too fast shots so okay that's that's problem so, which means my grinder size is here at the middle of the road. I need to go back to like, man, 11 maybe, or 12, 11, maybe even 12. Let's try with 12. But, but again, just, that's the great thing about the, using fresh coffee. Uh, I, since, uh, even though it's uh, roasted on December 3rd, but, I just opened it now, so I mean that's why you sh show up with a lot of crema there. Okay, if I'm gonna drink this, okay, it's gonna be really, really sour. But I'm gonna try anyway. Here we go. Yeah, so it's not drinkable. Okay, I mean, let me toss this. Okay. <clears throat> so so now. We are going to change, uh, so we changed to number 12, so let's find out how it's going to uh, work this time here. So this is kind of like the 
if you guys are enjoying the process of dialing in, okay, having a like separate grinder and kind of like better express motion makes sense, okay? Because, I mean, with a grinder like Niche, you have a kind of infinite number of adjustments, so. But if you don't like that kind of stuff, I mean, you have other options as well, okay? I, I think that's the, another reason I really like the Brista Express. They're, they're step grinders, so sometimes you have no option, so it makes, makes it a little easier in a way because you don't have a lot of options. Okay, so I'm gonna do another 14 gram. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, by the way. So 2020 is almost over. So yeah, I can't wait for 2021. Unfortunately, we cannot do over 2020. That's too bad. Okay. Okay, let's go fast here. Okay. So we adjust the little finer this time. I'm gonna shake a little bit. I'm gonna distribute. I'm gonna temp. I'm gonna do the exactly same thing. I'm gonna start time when uh, when I start the button there. Again, so with Rancholia Serbia, you have to, unfortunately, you have to wait a little bit at this time because still light is on. And so right now it's called temperature surfing. So we have to surf the temperature to get the right temperature to brew. So because we don't want to brew right now because water is boiling hot. So now is water is stopped boiling. So now we have a lot of hot water. The hot water is sitting on the top. See if I'm going to flush it. You're gonna see all the steam coming out. Right there. So we don't want that water. And then we are going to pull the shot again. So this is one downside of this machine. Uh, compared to Brista Express, has built-in PID, so you are going to get the good shot every time. No, not a good shot, but good temperature. Okay. So, oh, like, hopefully this time we're gonna get a better shot. Okay, so that's what I'm hoping for. So I got 14 gram in, so I'm looking around 28 gram out. Man, it's still fast, isn't it? Okay, about 10 seconds there. So, <laughs> shot looks really good. Okay, so at this point, Man, okay, so right now I'm at 11. So I need to go down even finer, okay? So I'm, I'm going to go, let's see. Boy, you know what, maybe number eight, even seven there, okay? Let's try that, even seven. Yeah, I mean, that's, okay. So, th so th this is like kind of a part of the dialing process. Smells good, but you know, I'm not gonna even bother to drink this time. So this, I just waste two shots. So, I mean, I've, I've been doing this one for a long time, okay? I've been dialing in beans for the last two years, pretty much daily basis. I still struggle, okay? I still struggle, so I mean, if you guys are having a hard time with Brista Express, I mean, don't feel bad about it because it's not, it's not easy. I, I don't want to say it's not easy, but you know, it can be tricky, okay? It can be tricky and sometimes, it's pretty much is different from beans to bean, bean to bean, so. Oh, all right, oops, see? So since this is not, this is like, even though come from Rancholia, uh, Ranch, uh, Rancholia, it's not exact fit sometimes, so sometimes you have to play with. Okay, so 
No. My number third shot here. You know what? Let me clean up my station here. It's messy. Okay. So let's do one more. Okay. Hopefully we got it right this time. My wife is laughing at me over there. Oh, really? Yes. I know you guys are talking about the plastic on my Rancho Leo. I know people ask me, uh, remove the plastic. I know that really bothers you, some people. Actually, I'm going to shout out to one of my viewers this morning. He wrote me a nice, nice encouragement that leave it on. So, okay. I got another 14 gram here. Okay. So it's gonna be my number three, okay? So if you are new to the making espresso at home, make sure you get a big bag of beans in the beginning. So which, you know, you don't have to buy nice beans either. Just get a like two pound bag of Lavazza beans perhaps from Amazon, okay? Start using that. Get fear for it, you know, fear for getting, you know, dialing in process. Uh, it might help you tremendously, so. John says, I wonder if it's better to just get a feel for things and know by eyeballing it when flow is too fast or slow and then when the flow looks good, dialing by taste. Oh. Yeah. Says if yeah. This one fails again, I think you should calibrate the niche. Okay, so uh, someone asked me if this one fails again, calibrate the wrist. I mean, I already calibrated uh, when I clean my machine, so maybe that's not a bad idea either. Okay. Okay. All right. So hopefully we're gonna get right this time. If not, if not, we're gonna try again. So. That's why I have the big bag here, so, okay. So, this is pretty fine right now, okay? This is pretty fine. I'm just gonna wait until the light's gonna go off. So now the light's off, I'm just gonna flush. So this is my number three. Third, uh, th yeah, number three. All right. Okay, guys. Let's try one more time. So I'm looking for 1428 gram. So look like this is too fine, okay? Too fine there. So this is a little bit too fine at 42 seconds, okay. Okay, so I want to be between 25 and 30 seconds there. So go back to my niche grinder. I'm around number seven, so it's more like, I'm just gonna adjust to maybe, maybe number nine or 10, maybe nine, maybe 10, okay. 10 should be good. I think 10 is the magic number. Okay, 10 is the magic number. So as you can see, we just waste, not, I don't want to say waste, kind of like the learning experience. So kind of like three shots so far. If I'm going to drink this right now, it's going to be bitter, okay? Because I over extract it. So let's try anyway, okay? Cheers. Yeah, so it's really bitter. So uh, we adjust the number 10, which means the next shot should be, we're gonna be right on it. Okay, so let's do, 
one more. Okay, so this is our number four. Again, I mean, so this is kind of like part of dialing process. I look like we got some questions. What, uh, what are you going to bring it to nine? So right now I'm at, uh, now I'm at number 10. Okay. So what are you going to bring it to? What do you mean? Are you going to go down to nine? No, no, no. We are already, okay. I was at number seven. They was too fine. Okay. I over extracted. So we bring up to number 10. So, so, so it's kind of like you have to kind of like make coarser at this point. Okay, because number seven was too fine. So we're gonna go to number 10. And hopefully, this is it. Water temperature gauge what? that you showed the other day. Linda wants to know if you can use the water temperature gauge. Water temperature? Yeah. What about it? Can you link it? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna go number another 14 gram here. So hopefully we're gonna get the right. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get it right this time. All right. Okay, everything is all good. By the way, it's been like 20 minutes. We've been dialing these beans. I mean, if this one was my edited video, I cut everything out. So, I mean, if you don't want to watch this right now, just feel free to come back later and just skip this boring section, okay? But, but personally, I think that this is best part of the dialing in, okay? The coffee, because it's kind of like ritual, you know? Okay, it's kind of like ritual here. So, okay, so I'm just here. Just make sure clean everything up. By the way, I've been using this black tar from my wife. So it looks nice, but it's not that great. Okay, it's the, it doesn't soak the water uh, like this tower here. Maybe I need to wash that one first, but yeah. But stay tuned for that, okay? Maybe. I'm gonna wash that black towel and if it works good, I definitely recommend you, you guys. If not, uh, don't bother there. Okay, by the way, my Rancholia Servia, the drip tray is tiny, okay? I'm gonna show you what it means. So we only did about four shots so far. This thing is almost full. So make sure if you have Rancholia Servia, think about buying on, the drip tray is pre small okay small capacity so make sure to think about that as well if you are making a lot of coffee at home you have to uh, take you know not not to take out but you have to uh, clean it more often okay from here so we just adjust the right amount Okay, just gonna polish it. I'm just going to get the hot water out. Okay. Again, so I'm looking for between 25 and 35, uh, 25 and 30 seconds shot at, I'm looking at 28 gram. Okay, I got 14 gram in and so one to two ratio. Okay. Here we go. Twenty eight gram. This one is much, much better. Okay, so that one I take that. So that's good shot. Okay, so here we go. So this is, I think, I can be a tiny bit finer, but I think I'm okay with it, the shots. So, cheers. Very balanced. It's not bitter or sour either. Um, it's, I can definitely taste the, the chocolate note as well. 
so so this is good okay so i think i can be a little bit make another adjustment i can get perfect shot but i mean this at this point i'm very satisfied with the shot okay so now i'm going to switch out to 18 gram basket all right um, and then see uh, what's the taste difference okay so which means i'm going to have 18 in about 36 gram out there so we are going to which means more more extraction so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes there oh, so i'm just going to clean it up here and then 14 gram basket out 18 gram in i'm just gonna heat it up for a second so right now i'm heating up the heating elements as well okay uh the problem with the changing dosing amount so i'm gonna put the 18 gram in the my grinder size at 10 it's not going to be the same as a 14 gram. So, again, I think I'm going to change to maybe 12, okay? Because I'm going to have a more dosing, more dose, more coffee grind in the 30 baskets. I got to count for that as well. So, I'm going to maybe change to 12 on niche grinder. So, I got 18 gram here earlier. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, we're gonna have a bit easier time dialing in 18 gram than 14 gram. Okay, so I'm looking for same one to two ratio, one B4. I'm looking for 36 gram between 25 and 30 seconds. Okay, I need some cup. I'm just going to flush out. Okay. Hopefully we can get lucky or not. Nah, let's find out here. Shot looks good, but it's too fast. Okay, that was, I was way off, guys. Okay, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna do one more, okay? So we are at number 12, okay? I guess number 10, I, I guess number 10 is the magic number for this match right here with the booth grinder. 10? Yeah, let's, uh, let's try 10. Okay. I think someone said 10 earlier. I, I don't know who was that. So, yeah, I think someone told me that I think I should go to 10. All right. Process, so, or John says save those lattes. So, save those shots for lattes. Okay, so this one, uh, John said, I'm going to say, I think I'm going to save this one for latte because shot was, wasn't too bad. Okay. So, that's how I'm gonna save down for latte for my family members. Okay, so we're gonna do one more shot, but meantime, I'm gonna check the water level, okay? Water level is still okay. So that's also one bad thing about Rancho Servia. There's no way to know how much water I have unless I go open up the bottom. Compared to Bravo Brista Express, I can look from this side as well. So. All right. Does so, the 18 gram basket have more holes? Uh, is 18 gram basket has more holes? Oh, I'm. You know what? I I think for size, I think I'm. I don't know how they come up with the the number of holes, but my answer is I'm not sure. 
because the obviously is based on the size. We got the 14 gram basket is not the same as 18 grams. So totally different design. Okay. So we're gonna do 18. The heat up my about two minutes to heat up. Whenever we start it in the morning, two minutes to heat up for the boiler. Okay, I'm gonna do 18 gram. And uh, we change grinder setting to number 10 there. So I think this might it, okay? I think we should be good. John asks, are you using IMS precision basket and IMS shower screen? Uh, John asked me, do I, uh, I'm using the IMS filter baskets or, no, I'm not, it's all stuck right now. However, okay. Uh, once I'm gonna get the bottomless port filter. So this is a precision basket set and the uh, gasket as well. So I'm gonna install that one as well. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay. So we adjust the grinder setting to number 10 because one shot was uh, fine before, so. So hopefully we're gonna get it right this time. So far we made what five different shots. Okay, yeah, five shots there. So okay. So hopefully we're gonna get it right. Okay. I'm just gonna flush. Okay. All right, so this is it. Okay, hopefully this is it for today. So this is my fifth espresso at the moment. I'm looking for 36 gram around there. Okay, that's good. That's fine. I take 40 gram, 42. Okay, so I, again, I can be slightly tighter shot, but just like uh, one before. So this one was uh, pretty much the same. So I think we are comparing right ratio there all right so it's gonna be any taste difference between 14 gram and 18 gram shots let's find out okay cheers okay i can i can definitely taste the more nutty flavor and chocolate flavor Bring the more flavor out, more enhanced, let's put it that way, compared to 14 gram basket. So uh, I think I prefer the 18 gram shot over 14 gram shot so far. So yeah, I mean, I think I definitely prefer this. It's quite nice, okay, quite nice. I can definitely taste all the, the, the the tasting profile you know from the roaster so i mean it's good okay so i think i prefer 18 gram over 14 gram but again it's a part of the dialing process it's not it's process okay so there's no magic number for that if i'm going to tell you if you are if you are using sumatra from good brothers if I, I tell you to use number 10 on your niche grinder it may not work okay because completely different because you know, moisture in the air or, you know, could be, could be any, any reason. Okay. So it's not the same. So I know people are asking me all the time, Hey, Hoon, what do you set on your grinder for my Brista Express? I mean, I can tell you what I use. That doesn't mean it's going to be works for you, but kind of like 
kind of use it as a starting point. Again, so if you are too fast, make your grinder size finer, too slow, make coarser. So it's kind of like adjust it, just play with it. But I mean, other than that, I mean, again, I prefer the 18 gram shot over 14 gram. I think I can taste more. It's more comp, not the complex, but it's more fuller taste. Let's put it that way. So, uh, so tomorrow morning, if you guys are up to it, and I'm going to compare uh, Rancho Leo Cervia and Brista Express, okay? Because they are both same filter basket size. So I'm going to use 18 gram here, 18 gram there. And then we are going to compare side by side. And which, let's find out which one. I have feeling Rancho Leo Cervia, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. Built-in grinder versus pretty much I'm going to compare Bravo Brista Express. Okay, just itself compared to Rancho Leo, match that with a niche grinder. Okay, so $600 setup versus, let's see here, you got 700 and then Rancho Leo Servia is about 800 there. So $600 setup versus 1600 bucks setup. So it's going to be fun comparison. Oh, no, $1,500 setup. 800 plus seven, yeah, about so $1,500 versus 600. So let's find out which one give you a better tasting shot, okay? I know you guys might guess it, but who knows, okay? I never try it with same filter basket size. So I just got the 18 grams. So it's gonna be really fun, okay? Fun tomorrow morning. Okay, look like I got some questions. My wife is going through some question there, so yeah, let's. Somebody shared that more holes equals more resistance, so a finer grind. Okay. Um, more holes equals to more resistance, so makes sense. Resistance. Makes sense there. <clears throat> um, let's see. So, is it best to always use 18 grams for the Barista Express? Okay, someone asked me, is it uh, is best to use 18 gram for Bristol Express? I mean, it's up to you, but I mean, I prefer between 17 and 18 gram. So, I mean, as long as it fall in, you want to be precise, obviously, but you know, because Bristol Express is not a precise machine. So, unless you are using, start using those in cup, measure out exactly, you know, exact amounts every single time, that's a lot of work. So, I usually do is I put, 17.5 gram in it and then hopefully i'm gonna get around 17 gram around there so yeah i mean if you're gonna use 18 gram fine as well so i think as long as you are under 18 gram i think the the fits okay you know what i mean the fits fine because i don't want to be overflowing so yes so i guess 18 gram is pretty good i know some people use like 19 or 20 on this pore filter so it's up to you What is best quality beans from Amazon? Oh goodness. For the value, okay, for the value from Amazon, I really like Labacha beans. So you pay about 22 bucks for like two pound bag. So it's about $10 per pound or so. So, I mean, that's really good buy for the value. And then comes to freshness, it's nothing beats, okay? Nothing beats the local roaster or, I mean, again, I've been using Good Brothers Coffee for a long time uh, people out there so these guys are micro roaster so what in my that is you order today he's gonna roast it for you tonight and then ship it out tomorrow so I mean you're gonna get him with it in four days so I mean those guys are you know pretty good okay uh, local coffee shop same thing they usually roast it in like three to four days anyway so local coffee shop is good as well so at that point is all about the price point so uh, that's why, I mean, I, you know, that's why I like Good Brothers because he's willing to give you guys 25% off. So it's already expensive anyway. Those, you know, specialty coffee are somewhat pricey. So, okay. Um, yeah, more holes equals less resistance. Yeah. So ground should be fine. Though. Okay. So you got the talking about the horse there on the baskets. Um, by the way, so I'm getting uh, tonight, actually, I'm getting the tonight 
uh, the pressure gauge, okay? Pressure gauge for the uh, pore filter. So I'm gonna find out how many bars uh, Brista Express produce. And then also I can compare that with Rancheria Cerevia as well. So I can't wait to get that gauge. Uh, you can get it from Amazon too. So, and if you guys are curious about it, I'm gonna put the link down below, hopefully tomorrow. I'm gonna try it out first. Um, a viewer asked, I have the Sage Duo Pro with built-in water filter. If I start using a water filter jug, can I use the machine without the built-in one? Okay, someone asked me, if you are using the uh, water jug with the filter, can I not use the filter inside? Answer is yes, because I don't use filter inside. Okay, because I'm using filter water from my refrigerator and my uh, reverse osmosis. So, so because you don't want to use reverse osmosis because you, you don't want to have any mineral on your water. So you, you need some mineral. So, so I use, what I do is I got my reverse osmosis water and I mix with my filter water from my refrigerator. So I kind of like mix a little bit, but yeah. Uh, if you have filter water picture, yeah, you don't have to use the uh, filter there. Someone asked me, I have a high pressure. So, I mean, that's a good problem to have, okay? I know most of my viewers having a low pressure. So, high pressure, your grind size, makes your grind size coarser. That's it. Mr. Thomas says, I can't remember if I've yet to see you do any deep cleaning on the niche. Does the niche do deep cleaning also? Okay, so Mr. Thomas asked me about the cleaning on niche. Uh, I have a video on that, okay? How to clean niche grinder so make sure to check it out if not i'm gonna maybe another one someday but yeah i mean niche is really easy to clean only thing you need is the i think it's the, i think that's like 10 millimeter i'm not sure but just unscrew the top and that's it just move everything out yeah and calibrate after when you decide to decrease the dose during dialing in espresso do you change the levels of both the palm tamper and the distributor? Oh, someone asked me about the... Uh, okay. You have to say the question. The question was, do, so if you are changing the dosing amounts of, of your coffee, do I need to change my distribution tool and palm tamper? Answer is... Uh, answer is yes. You might want to because you have a less coffee grinds in your filter basket so you're gonna have less resistance so yeah so i mean ideally you want to change your palm but again if you are using like niche grinder because you have an infinite adjustment there so you can adjust from here uh, from the, your grinds but if you don't have you know if you have a, you are using the step grinder like brista express i mean you want to definitely use the palm you, you need to adjust your palm setting Let's put it that way. Yes, answer is yes. All right. Um, Mike got his... Oh, so we got a uh, shout out to Mike. He just got the Apartmento yeah, rocket. Yeah, that's amazing. He can, he, he doesn't have to heat surf, so it, he can steam milk. And so, 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 so again, so Mike got a, the rocket Apartmento. I mean, that's really, that's heat exchange motion, so you can do both at the same time. I mean, not like eventually a Serbia. So this one, you have to go one at a time, but yeah, so do Brista Express. But I mean, those motions are sweet, okay? But they're like 1600 bucks or so, 16, 17. So, and the, plus you need to get a good grinder as well. So that's next level up. And you're gonna make some really great coffee with it. So, I mean, I know most of you watching my channel, you guys have Brista Express, okay? So most of us, this is good enough, okay? But if you want to up your game, if you have extra money around, definitely, you know, those motions are fantastic, okay? And the, your options are pretty unlimited. Once you pass the like $2,000 range there, you have a lot of lots of options. Under $1,000, your, your options are pretty much the same, okay? Yeah. Brista Express, Rancheria Sylvia, maybe Gaza Classic Pro, so the, very limited, but once again, once you go up to 2,000, 3,000, man, you're gonna have a good time finding one. And viewer asked, what do you think about La Maraca, Maseraca Linea Mini? Someone asked me about the uh, La Merzaco Mini. The minis are, I mean, they're a fantastic machine. I'm, I'm st 
That, that's, that's another reason I'm trying to save money for that as well, okay? Have you had the time, have you drank coffee from it? Uh, someone asked me, have, I, have you tried? No, I have not, but I did try. At, oh, one of my local coffee shop has a La Marzacca, the commercial machine. I did, I did try their espresso. Here's a fact, okay? I wasn't that impressed with the shot because, I mean, personally, I really like the single origin coffee espresso and if you go to most coffee shop what kind of machine they have they have their own their blend okay so your taste is not the same as their taste the coffee shop taste so so again doesn't matter what kind of machine you have it, it cannot beat i mean you know what even i bet you i bet you your as a brista express dialed in just right your coffee is better than any other coffee in your local area because you know what you like so yeah so no one can you know, so my answer is yes i did try i prefer my coffee from brista express uh, dane got the dosing funnel today oh good dane got the dosing funnel fantastic good all right um what did you do with your mazer can you still do a comparison with the niche and mazer if you still have so uh, my mother mini grinder at work right now. So I did have a video on that. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out my channel. Okay, that's uh, so I convert my mother mini to single dosing, kind of like niche there. So that works great, and yeah, definitely check out my that video. If not, some maybe I'm gonna bring it in, so you guys can see it as well in the live session. What mug do you recommend? Not neutral versus acne. Okay, so someone asked me, not neutral versus Acme. Ah, they're both fantastic. The, the reason why I like not neutral, I love their design. They have various design as well. And the plus, they give you guys 15% off, okay? So that's the big one too. And the Acme cup, so they're, uh, Acme is more for like Canada area. So, and if you have a hard time getting not neutral cups, go with the Acme cups. Uh, especially the Evolution line, they're great. Okay, they're really very similar to the Lino cups. Hold on, let me show you. Very similar to like Lino. Okay, great handle, feels great, wonderful ceramic. So yeah, I actually I use both, and I highly recommend both of them. Um, George uh. wants to know if you think it's okay to use the water filter with pre-filtered water. That's what he. So George asked me, is it okay to use water filter with pre-filter water? Mm -hmm. I'm sure, that's fine, okay? I don't see why not because, okay, the tap water is not bad, okay? You, you could use tap water, but you have to clean it more often. You have to descare more often, that's it, okay? And uh, it's nothing wrong with using tap water, but you know, though again, the water, the good tasting water is the key to making good coffee. So that, that's why, we are focused, you know, people are really focused on the water quality. The, so here's the truth about making great coffee. I mean, we talk about coffee machine all, all the time, okay? We talk about coffee machines. What kind of coffee machine do you have? But not that many people are talking about the grinder. So we need to talk about the grinder. Having a good grinder is important. And also having a good coffee is important as well. And then having a good water quality is really important too. So. Um, you have to have all four, but, but as long as we have a good coffee, good water, decent grinder, even mediocre coffee machine, you're going to get a great shot, okay? But if you have $5,000 coffee machine with mediocre grinder with crappy water and crappy beans, you're going to get a crappy shot, so make sure don't forget that as well. Um, Let's see what I... So Dylan asked me, am I going to go live, Instagram live after? I'm not sure. If anybody wants to join me, okay, I think a 61 of you are watching me right now. So if any of you needs help with dialing in, let me know right now. So let's go Instagram live and then uh, let's help you dial in. Okay, it'd be fun. So let me know. A viewer asked, what do you think of ISO Max? Someone asked me about the ISO Max. I don't know what that is though. I don't know what, yeah. Um, and what will be your next espresso machine? Someone asked me what is my next espresso machine. 
it's gonna be heat exchanger or dual boiler with PID okay so that's the one for sure but I don't know what though okay I don't know what let's see Okay, I'm gonna take a few more questions here and then. I think that's it, guys. Oh, did who never talk about micro roasters that don't put roasted date on bags? Uh, no, I think George asked me, so micro roaster put, they don't put the date on it? You know, uh, okay, so one roaster uh, I got from the Fire Creek coffee roaster from Flagstaff, they're a micro roaster. But I don't know why they don't put the roasting date on it. So yes, um, I saw a few of them out there. But I mean, if you buy most copy roasters, they have roasting date on it. Just make sure one of you buy. I don't know about grocery store. Only grocery store coffee beans has roasting date on it is Pete's Coffee, okay? The Pete's Coffee has a roasting date. If you buy from Starbucks, so Starbucks, uh, they don't tell you, okay, so they don't tell you the dates, but they're going to tell you the, the best used date, okay? So this one is the best before April of 2021, okay? So 2021, April, so this December, so what, four months, five months? Because I bought this one uh, about a month ago, so yeah. So... One if I buy beans, I like to drink in within in like three to four weeks at the most. So once I open it, I like to drink it in like one to two weeks. Because once you, even with my canister, the vacuum canister, still goes stale. Okay, even though it's a vacuum seal, but it's still going to go bad. So, I mean, that's why I don't open too many bags at once. I like to use one at a time. So as long as it's sealed and leave it in a dark place, I mean, you could, you know, you could use it for a long, you know, while, okay? Not a long time, but for a while, but yeah. So this one, I need to, I want, I need to drink in within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, I mean, I already used six shots already, so. Okay, any other questions? Are we good? Okay, so. Linda says, so if I don't open the bag, it will last longer? So Linda asked me if you don't open the, yes, uh, Linda, it should be, yeah, longer for sure. So again, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be compare, okay, Bravo versus Rancherio Cervia with a niche grinder, okay? I'm going to use an 18-gram dose. Uh, let's compare that apple to apple, and then let's find out which one has better tasting shots. I, I bet you, you you guys know what that is, but still, you uh, we never know, okay? Let's find out. All right, so let's see. Is there anybody who wants to join me for Instagram Live? So whatever on here, I'm going to put the link down below as well. So, so anybody, let's see. Is there anybody who wants to join me? Is it, is it, is it Eduardo, Eduardo say yes or if not, make sure you follow me on Instagram and then see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Oh, Dylan.